Hello, my name is Martin Cowan, and I am the founder of the Fellowship of Reason. This is our ancient Greek language study group, and I'm doing my homework out loud in preparation for our class of Wednesday, January the 9th, 2019. In my last uh, video, I talked about the future tense, and I'm going to review the future tense in the next four slides, and after that we're going to talk about some exceptions to the rules that I'm going to state right now. So here's the verb, I am stopping, pow o, and the endings are o, es, a, amen, et, e, usi, and we add those endings to the stem, pow, and so here you have it. Pao, pao ace, pao a, pao men, pao te, pao si. Now, in order to create the future, I shall stop, it's very simple. All you do is add a sigma between the stem and the endings that we just had, the exact same endings for the uh, present tense. And so here's what you get for I shall stop. Pao so, pao says, pao say, pao so men, pao se te. And we can see what happens in the middle voice for the same verb, in which context it means I am ceasing. Here is the uh, middle voice indicative mood present tense. Pau omai, pau e, pau ete, pau omentha, pau estha, pau ontai. And if you want to create a middle voice indicative mood future tense, you do the same thing uh, that we did before, which is simply to insert a sigma between the uh, stem of the verb and the appropriate middle ending. And so here is I shall cease conjugated. Pausomai, pause, pausete, paus ometha, paus esta, paus, paus on time. And now we want to talk about some exceptions. Sometimes the verb stem ends in a consonant, and if the consonant happens to be what's called a dental, which is a d, a th, a, a zeta, or a tau, then the, when you add the sigma, all it does is replace that consonant. So here is a word we've seen before, I am persuading, and this is in the present tense. Patho, pathes, pathe, pathamen, pathete, pathusi. If you want to make that future, you have to substitute the ending consonant with the sigma. Simple. Peso, peses, pese, pesamen, pesete, pesusi. Sometimes the consonant is what's called a labial. That's a b, b. Labial means lips. B, p, t, or uh, fee. F. Okay, so here is a word I am sending, and this is the word in our textbook. It's pempo, pempo, and this means I am sending. Pempo, pempes, pempe, pempoman, pempete, pempusi. And if you want to make that future, you have to substitute the pi for a c, c. Pempso, pempses, pempse, pempsomen, pempsete, pempsusi. And the final case is when the uh, consonant that ends the that ends the stem is a palatal. And this is something that's created with the palate of your tongue. For example, try it. g, k, or uh, k. So this is a gamma, a kappa, or a or a chi. And what you do there is you replace it with a xi. When you add the sigma, it combines with the uh, consonant and becomes a xi. So here's a new word. I am receiving decomai, deke, decete, decomantha, decista, decontai. And if you want to make it future, you simply replace that ending consonant, and add the sigma, and it combines to uh, something with the xi in it. And here it is. Dexomai, dexe, dexate, dexometha, dexista, dexotai. All right, there you have it. Those exceptions aren't very bad. Remember, I am a beginning student of ancient Greek. I am not a teacher of ancient Greek. I only play one on YouTube. 
Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.